Okay guys, so this is the parts per million, parts per billion part that was cut off on 2.2. So this stuff is just some basic unit conversion stuff. You just gotta know the formula. It's not there. It should go right here on this part of the screen on your notes though. And basically, the formula for parts per million looks like this. PPM is mass of sol solute over mass of solution times 10 to the 6. 10 to the 6 is just a million. So if you take the mass of what's being dissolved and what it's being dissolved into, times it by a million, that'll give you parts per million. Now, parts per billion, I should say P, P, B, parts per billion is very similar. So parts per billion is just mass of solute over the mass of solution. Instead of 10 to the 6, like a million, billion is times 10 to the 9. So you're going to get some big numbers here because you're working with millions and billions. But the numbers aren't that bad to work with. So it's okay. So for the first example here, see if it focuses on my screen. Uh, we want a concentration of 4 times 10 to the negative 4 grams of sodium sulfide mixed with 96 grams of water. So all that's going to look like, so this is parts per million. Oh. And that's just going to be parts per million. So it's just my mass and my solute. So that's my NaSO4. So that's 4 times 10 to the negative 4 grams all over 96, oh, 96 grams times 10 to the 6. So if I work that out, so I'll go 4 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 96 times a million. And what that's going to give me is 4.2 parts per million. Okay, remember my sig figs? There's only 2 and 96, so that's what my answer has to have. And if I want to do parts per billion, I would do the same thing, but I would have made that 10 to the 9. All right, now on the last example, a sample water contains 25 parts per million of lead ions. Convert this con into a concentration of moles times liters negative one, so that's just molarity. Molar mass of lead two is 206.2. So all we're gonna do, remember, molarity, molarity is just moles per liter, okay? So, we're given something in parts per million, which is just 25. And what that 25 parts per million is, that's actually 25 grams per one million milliliters. So I'm actually gonna write this all out. Okay, so we have 25 grams per 1 million milliliters. And if we look, we want to get moles over liters. So what we need to do is we need to convert the grams, our mass, into moles, and we need to convert the milliliters into liters. So that's all I'm going to do here. So to convert milliliters into liters, you divide by 1,000, or you knock off three zeros from the milliliters, and that's just going to leave you with... A thousand liters. Okay, now to go from 25 grams to moles, you have to go mass divided by your molar mass, which it says in the question was focus 206.2. So I'm going to go 25 divided by 206.2. And if I do that really quick, so 25. Oh yeah, I don't have that number. I think. That's just going to give me 1.2 ish. Then if I go 1.2 divided by 1000, that's just going to be 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4 moles. Okay, so that's how you do the parts per million part. Uh, hopefully that'll help with the worksheet. You guys will have some of those on the whole, on the assignment as well. 
So good luck.